How's it going, everybody? Driver53 here, and today we're going to take a look and see how profitable alfalfa and clover is compared to grass. So I wanted to come over here to Stone Valley because this is the first map that I saw that had it on here. Lancy Boy, awesome job. Thank you very, very much for getting this here. And DJ Modding is actually using the textures of the alfalfa and the clover over on UMRV. So the first thing I needed to do was actually take a look at the price in the XMLs. So I went ahead and did that, and I've got a spreadsheet here to show you that the price is exactly the same. It doesn't matter if it's grass, alfalfa, or clover. It's all going to be the exact same price all the way across, and that's going to be your average and your estimated. Everything is, is exactly the same on easy, normal, and hard mode. Now, also for your hay, your alfalfa hay, and your clover hay, those are exactly the same too. So once I had that sorted, then I needed to look and see exactly how much I was going to get for a harvest. So I went ahead and harvested a field, this one right here. I planted alfalfa in it, I planted grass in it, and I planted uh, clover in it. And the volume was almost exactly the same. You could see that it was 117,310 or 312. Um, somehow on the the hay, I, I left like two liters out there, but basically exactly the same. So that's really good. You're, you're going to get the same volume, whether you're feeding it to your animals or you're selling it. It's all going to be the same volume. You don't have to worry about one making more than the other. And you could also see that the revenue and the estimated peak revenue are exactly the same. 19708 That's what I got on this field right here. Now, this is for your average revenue, all right, and the estimated peak revenue. So that's this field right here that you see in front of me that's not going to be exactly what you're going to get it depends on the size of field you have and your fertilization states this that's what i got right here and i noticed something kind of interesting because whenever i went through here i wasn't exactly planting okay i was using f12 because i'm on the pc and i noticed that for the harvest there were actually different um phases of ready to harvest just like with grass you've got two different stages well with alfalfa you've got three and clover, you've got three as well. So I went ahead and planted the field as that, you know, I F12'd it in, and then I got the volume off that. And just like with your grass, the alfalfa and the clover give you less volume on your harvest the sooner you get it off the field, right? So if you take it two days early, you're gonna get less than if you take it one day early versus if you wait till it's fully mature. So then after noticing that, I went and just wanted to see the other growth stages. You know, I'm kind of curious, how long does this stuff actually take to grow? Well, I got this chart right here. And as you can see, the grass, it's going to take three days from the day you sow it. All right, that's day zero. And then growing ready one and ready two, that's three days or three months, right? Um, alfalfa and clover are both going to take six. Unfortunately, they're twice as long. So that proposes a little bit of an issue because if you're not running seasons and you're able to harvest the, the grass every three days or three months, but the clover and alfalfa, you got to wait every six. Yeah, you're, you're not going to make as much money. And here's a chart to show you that. So as you can see right here, I've got August as the month that we're planting everything. And then you go across for three months, November. Now, this is once again without seasons being turned on. If you've got the seasonal cycles turned on, it's a little bit different I'm going to show you here in a second why, but if we get back to this. You can see that after three days, you're going to be able to harvest your grass. And then in another three days or months, you're going to be able to do it again. So you're going to be able to make, I made 39,416, right? If, if I sold this for my average price, not my peak, but my average price, I'm going to make a little bit over $39,000 on the grass in six months, but my alfalfa and clover, I'm only going to make not even 20. So it's not profitable at all to have this as a cash crop. You might as well just make hay right here. And I didn't even check silage or anything like that, but I mean, it's gonna be the same thing. It, it takes so much longer for this alfalfa and clover to be able to grow that it's not viable right now. Maybe we need a little bit of an update. And one thing that I wanted to show you, if you do have your crop calendar turned on, I'm using Stone Valley right now grass you can see you could harvest it at any time but you can only plant it up until november right and then march to november you can plant harvest anytime at all well your alfalfa and clover your planting is almost the same you're able to plant it up until october but you can't harvest it except for april through july only one time a year are you going to be able to harvest this if you have your seasonal cycles turned on grass 
We've already shown that you can get three to five cuts off that, depending on how you want to do it and how much money we want to make. Three to five cuts on grass, but alfalfa and clover, you're only going to get one. Well, everybody, that's going to be it for today. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you would. If you want to stay up to date on all my future testing videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell, too. And while you're waiting on the video, go ahead and check out one of these two right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.